Step four. <laughs> okay, so it's been 20 minutes. <laughs> now you'll want to take the tape off. And if you go like that, you can tell if it's dried enough, and it is. It's not coming off. that you do around the gasket don't do a big bead because sometimes it can cause your door not to close if you have too much silicone because it doesn't give the gasket enough play I guess to move around when it does get close so you just start at the top I mean an in-swing door, so you'll want to put your silicone on the outside of the gasket. Oops. Sometimes you have to do a little bit more on the corners. And then usually I just I mean, you can use whatever you feel comfortable using, but I just use my finger to just kind of even it out, smooth it out. Because then you can, it will show you, you know, the places you need more silicone. So after you smooth it out, you can see what areas? Yeah, okay. you need some more silicone. So do you apply, what kind of pressure do you apply on the um, on the gasket when you actually do the silicone? It's not too much pressure. No, not too it? much pressure. Just You just kind of just let your finger go across it. Because if you apply too much pressure, then you get bubbles and you want to do, see that's that's a good amount of, you don't want any more than, than what I have on there. So basically you just put your finger over yeah. it, you're not really applying any pressure. Just no, I'm just basically evening it out so it looks good and you get all the, and that's, and then you put your little things in there. When you wait for this to dry for 20 minutes. Do we have to tape it now no. or no, just leave it? No, you just leave it now and then you just let it dry, I would say for Overnight, probably. Probably in the morning, it'll be good to go. And then they can use their walk in tub finally. Huh? And then they can use their walk in yes. tub finally. And then they can use their walk in tub, <laughs> and if, if it leaks, you got another problem. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's